hello guys and welcome to my channel so if you're new my name is Deacon aka Deacoco aka Queen of DIYs and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning back in you know you got my love internet hooks to all of you so in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this DIY hair max this is the hair max that I would run to when I feel like my hair needs more strength or just needs to feed on better things so when I run out of hair max like the normal regular hair max this is definitely the one that I also refer to and yeah in today's video we're going to be learning how to make this formula that I created and without further ado let us jump right into making this hair max but before then if you do like what you've seen already please thumbs up this video it goes a long way in helping my channel grow and I appreciate that and yes let's get into making this DIY hair max So first I wanted to point out that the ingredients I'll be using for this is something you probably already have at home or in your kitchen so it's just something really easy to find we have aloe vera we have bananas we have fenugreek seeds we have avocado and every other thing that we need here so first I'm going to take my aloe vera leaf and now I'm just taking half an aloe vera leaf from um, the one I had previously used and um, I'm just going to cut the lower parts that I do not need out and then I'm going to be cutting this into chunks to make it easier to work with and then once I am done cutting this up and as you can see there's like the yellow thing is on the chopping board which is not good can irritate the skin so now to deal with that and get that off I'm going to transfer my aloe vera chunks into a bowl and then I'm going to go into the bowl with hot water and this is just to help get um, away that yellow thing on the aloe vera that irritates the skin because we do not want that. So um, once I soak it in hot water, I'm just going to keep it aside for a couple minutes. Now in another bowl, I'm going to be taking fenugreek seeds and every measurement um, would be in the description bar so definitely check that out and then I'm going to also add hot water to the fenugreek seeds and keep aside so now I am going in with other ingredients into my blender so first of all I'll be going in with my banana and here I'm just using one banana next I'll be going in with my avocado and honestly do not mind the state of this avocado it's still very okay to use for this so I'm just going to go in with a spoon after putting my avocado into two and then I'm going to transfer the avocado into my blender as well so here I'm just using the both parts you don't use, you don't have to use the both parts if you don't have um, so much hair on your head um, yeah so next I am done with soaking my aloe vera in hot water for a while so I'm just going to bring that out and then I'm going to use a paper towel to clean the water the excess water off it so it will be easier to peel and now I'm just going to peel my aloe vera um, chunks I'm getting the skin out because what I need for this is the gel now aloe vera is a very useful ingredient when it comes to hair growth and in this conditioner apart from the fact that it is going to help condition my hair and just give it the nutrient that it needs the hydration aloe vera is also going to give the deep conditioner the sleep that it needs so now that I am done with that I'm then going to take my blender with other ingredients I'm going to turn my aloe vera into the blender so next I'm going to go in with the fenugreek seeds and also with the water and you don't need to add the water part I just wanted the um, deep conditioner to be a lot because we were two that was going to use this so yeah after blending I'm just going to sieve that with a stocking cap you can use a cheesecloth if you have that or you can use whatever works in just saving this step is very important because you do not want to work around with um, particles and chunks of ingredients in your hair even after you rinse it out 
um, if you do not do this step it's going to be a struggle to get these particles out of your hair so please do not I beg you do not skip this step <laughs> very important so I'm just going to sieve that out and once I am done I'm going to go in with my Jamaican black castor oil and I'm just adding one tablespoon of Jamaican black castor oil into the conditioning treatment and then I'm also going to go in with honey and here I was already running out of honey um, I would have added a lot more but I added just one tablespoon I would have added two to three tablespoons but I had run out of honey so there was nothing I could do my hands were tied so next I am going to go in with henna powder and this is optional but henna powder has a lot of benefits for the hair and yeah I do have gray hair so I like to include um, henna powder to this recipe to just help to um, should I say tint my gray hair even though I really love my gray hair but I just um, it just also gives lots of nutrients to the hair as well hence why I'm using henna powder so now I am going to stir that up thoroughly now when you add the henna powder it is um, difficult to stir um, you can do this step like adding the henna powder when you're blending is really optional but I prefer to add it after I have um, blended my deep conditioning treatment already so now with the kitchen wigs I am just stirring that up properly and then I'm showing you the consistency so you can also see the slip that I get with this conditioner um, as we get further in the video you're going to get what I mean by the slip so now to apply this I'm going to take my conditioner I've already washed my hair I've washed my hair squeaky clean with a shampoo and now I had parted my hair into four parts to make it easier for me to work with. Now I'm just going to be going in with the conditioning treatment to every section that I had parted out. Now I'm going to go in with generous amounts to make sure that my hair is fully covered. And if you notice what I'm doing, I am applying this treatment on my hair and not my scalp. So what means this treatment is your hair and not your scalp. And as you can see, the my curls are already taking shape. Um, the aloe vera helps with the sleep and helps uh, me apply it much easier and detangle my hair much easier. So as you can see, I'm trying to do an up close view of my curls. My curls are already getting into place. Just um, putting this for a little while on my hair. I'm just running my fingers through. So now I'm just working with the other section my hair i'm just applying a generous amount as well so this right now i'm working with the back part of my hair so i'm making sure that everything goes in generously so i'm just showing you guys an overview of my curls to show you how conditioning this treatment is and how well it works with my curls and i have 4c hair so imagine you had loser curls how beautiful this will look but yeah, all hair is beautiful. So yeah, look at my curls. I'm really loving what I'm getting at the moment. And yeah. So still an up close of how this looks. Look how conditioned my hair is already. And how defined my curls are already. So I'm just going to go into other section. Um, but before then, I'm going to um, twist the section that I've already added my deep treatment. Um, twist it up and then continue with like other sections so now to the final section of my hair and then I'm going to run my hand across the top of my head to make sure that the deep conditioning treatment goes everywhere on my hair because all your hair definitely needs the love from this conditioning treatment and once i'm done with this i'm going to tie this up um, for a little while about an hour to two hours depending on how much time i have i just like to be generous with the time i keep it on for hours and yeah and when i'm done with that i'm going to go wash it up and then my hair will be properly treated and hydrated So that's it for this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you're not and I'll see you in my next one.